What's up everybody, Justin here, and I have a fishing report for you coming up. The Lake St. Clair Fishing Report is brought to you by Rose Marine. I know, I know, I've been MIA, I have been doing a ton of traveling for work, been all over the state, sleeping in the back of my truck to save money, enjoying the beautiful sights that we have here in Michigan, and quite honestly, having a lot of fun working the new job. But I have been a little neglectic in getting you guys updates on the fishing, and honestly, there wasn't a lot to tell you. The weather has sucked for the last three, four weeks. But this week, right now, is the start of great weather out here on Lake St. Clair. So let me dive into this report. I'll tell you what has been going on for bites and what I think is gonna be going on coming in to this weekend out here on the lake. Hey, did you get the notification about my last video? If you didn't, be sure you click down below hit that red subscribe button and ding that notification bell so you get notified every time I post a video. We need to talk about the elephant in the room. You know, that super high water that we are having out here on Lake St. Clair. Um, it is good and it is bad. It is bad for those who have homes and businesses right on the water. They are constantly having the threat of flooding every time there is an east wind or a really strong uh, south wind if you're on the north end there of the lake. Um, so lots of sandbags out on people's property lines and that. And I need to remind everybody about the 200 foot rule. Um, you cannot be on plane, you cannot be creating a wake in a bass boat, a fishing boat within 200 feet of the shoreline. So be respectful of people that live along the lake keep that wake down because your wake does do a tremendous amount of damage to that property uh, especially when the water's high like this but a great thing about high water like this is that we have a lot of nutrients making it way making its way into the waterways now the last week or so we've had a lot of rain and quite honestly the lake has not gotten dirty with this high, high water, I think we're at this weird point where everything is so saturated, everything is so wet, the water is so high, there's no more mud to get sloshed into the lake. Uh, so if we keep these softer rainstorms we've been having, we're really not gonna have a ton of instances of muddy, muddy water happening, particularly here on the US side. Um, when you look at the aerial photo, you can tell the water is really clean for the most part. Um, yesterday, I got out and had a banner, banner day fishing for largemouth, not so great in smallmouth. That video will be coming soon. There we go. Mm. Um, I didn't film everything. I was just having so much fun. I just stopped filming and just kept on fishing. Um, but what I did film, I think, is going to make a great episode here on the channel for you. Um, but the guys that have been catching smallmouth have been doing well, too. Uh, I lost my train of thought. What was I thinking? Oh, yeah. I was going to talk about water clarity. Overall, uh, I was out Saturday, and I fished from Harley to Muskimut. Water was had three to four foot visibility from Crocker all the way down to Gross Point Yacht Club. Again, three to four foot visibility. What I'm noticing though is pockets of what I would call green water and blue water. The green water is mixing with a lot of the creeks and the rivers, uh, the Milk River down by uh, Nine Mile seems to be giving that water a green tinge to it. Um, and that bay just below Ford's Cove though, that is really chocolate up and it's just kind of holding there. Uh, moving up towards uh, Memorial Park or Crocker, you have the spillway kicking out some dirtier water there and that's running down into the 400 Club area. It's not unfishable, it's just a little dirtier, um, a little more of a, a largemouth green versus that smallmouth blue that we like out here 
on Lake St. Clair. Um, up by the Clinton River, not a ton of flow right now um, that's going to kick a lot of mud. Um, but there is a little bit of a color variation right out in front of the mouth there at Harley. I'm sure Salfridge, Brandenburg, the Salt River all have very similar situations right now where there's a little bit of off-coloredness um, in those regions that's a little darker green where the rest of the water out from it is going to be that bluish color. Um, I think the clarity right now is honestly the best clarity you can have. You can get closer to the fish. They're not spooky. Um, just makes things a little bit easier to get up on top of these fish versus when it's gin clear you have to make those long casts and they're constantly being spooked uh, by traffic up above them so let's that's that's it for the clarity conversation um, water temp wise we are cold very cold um, 14 foot of water yesterday had 48 degree surface temp in five feet of water i had 53 and that literally goes for everything even the very back end of some of the canals that are very dark in color um it was only 53 54 degrees yesterday so we are way behind in water temp you haven't missed anything on the spawn it's only gonna get better from here on out and I think this weekend will be the massive kickoff everybody's been waiting for. For bluegill out here on the lake, you are going to have a great time. Hit up a lot of your marinas and your canals, the channels and back bay areas. All the marshes are very, very high, so you can get boats way back in the marshy areas you normally can't easily get back into. And there, you'll be rewarded with a lot of bluegill and a lot of pumpkin seed in those areas. Crappie tend to uh, kind of concentrate more on the mid the deeper marinas and canals for them right now they have been doing good i would expect the crappie bite to start to taper off as the temperature comes up they tend to the bigger ones tend to leave those marinas and get a little more nocturnal and get harder to locate as things heat up on the yellow perch front i honestly haven't heard anything doesn't mean no one's catching them. Um, I think just guys are having so much fun chasing walleye in the St. Clair River, Detroit River, and out here on the lake. They just are ignoring yellow perch for the most part. I know historically, um, Geno's, the condos, um, off of the, uh, the beach at the Metro Park, the barracks, um, Fairhaven, uh, off the boat launch there in Fairhaven, generally hold really good perch numbers this time of the year and you could get in some great, great catches. Um, another thing to keep in mind with this high water, those marshy reed beds, the Phragmite beds, uh, cattail beds might hold some really nice perch this year. So don't be afraid to go up there and maybe do a little sight casting for some jumbos. Something different to try, and you never know what else you might just find up there on the flats. Now here's one I do not talk about often, and that's catfish. Um, catfishing, there's plenty of guys out shorebound doing it, and they're doing well. Uh, they're catching fish in the spillway. They're catching fish in the Clinton River. They're catching fish off of Brandenburg a few every now and again, and also off of um, is it Waterfront Park or something like that in Harrison Township. Uh, they do well there, and off of Memorial Park, they do well this time of the year for channel catfish. Um, and as things warm up, that, sh that bite should get better and better. And with the high water, we should have a lot of good fish in these creeks and canals coming in to feed. For you guys chasing northern pike and muskie, I uh, haven't really heard of anybody out muskie fishing, but I will tell you this, the flats, the north, south, and middle channel has a lot of northern pike hanging around. With the water being cooler, those fish got done spawning, they recovered, they're fattening up, and I have I had a day up there on Saturday, the memory card corrupted, so I lost all the footage on that from Saturday, but I lost every single chatterbait I had in a particular color, and they were all 35 plus inch northerns. So there are some fantastic northerns up there on the flats and off the edges of the main channels up there around Harsons Island and Russell Island and Dickinson Island. So I wanna head up there. Uh, should be some activity of them around the barracks off of Salfridge as well. For you guys chasing walleye, um, there is a lot of walleye in the area. Guys that are bass fishing are catching, you know, a fair amount of them while they're bass fishing right now. So they are around the cooler water temps 
should be over with should get that metabolism kick uh, fired up in these walleye and get them really active with the watercolor that we have if it maintains that way all the way up to the may madness tournament there should be some really good fishing here on the u.s side the water is a little dirtier on the canadian side so you can go over to st jean's and mitchell's bay and those areas and probably locate some nice walleye over there as well haven't heard of anything but usually right around the time may madness kicks off you'll hear a lot of guys over there starting to catch some walleye over on that side of the lake last but not least bass i know i made you wait all the way to the end of the video to get a bass report so as i said earlier in the video we are way behind in the temps these fish have not spawned at all zero spawning has happened there may have been a few days earlier on like three or four weeks ago a little bit fanning then it got cold but they'll start fanning those beds again start picking out those those areas this week we should see a lot of fish start to push up um, into those spawning zones and get really active uh, there's a lot of bait fish in those spawning zones right now too due to that dirtier water uh, but primarily guys are having the fish really really slow um, for smallmouth take a kill shot or a darter literally on a jig head and just drag it really slow a four inch swimming Sanko even uh, a small Kai tech uh, just drag it on the bottom really slow slow down your presentation take your time maybe hop it every now and again but don't get too crazy but as things warm up those fish should start chasing things like your swim baits up off the bottom rattle traps jerk baits square bills crank baits um, blade baits they should all kind of start firing back up once we start to warm up today and going on until the weekend so the bite should get a little more active as the week progresses for everybody uh, largemouth fishing if you're striking out on smallmouth dude st Clair is pumping out some absolute giant largemouth I literally pretty much caught nothing but three pounders yesterday on largies and had a ball. I had a couple short fish. I had three or four that were in the four pound range. Talked to a buddy last night. He had two six pounders, whole bunch of fours up in the area he was working. So good chance I'm gonna head up there and visit him uh, over the weekend and fish some of his water. See if it's still going good. Uh, for largemouth, what I was actually fishing is this right here. And I don't do a ton of you know jig fishing but i decided to give it a try this is actually a dnl jig so you can see there's a lot of flake in the skirt and then there's some of this just crystal flash tied in as well and for my trailer this is an angler's choice boogie bug in choby crawl um had a lot of flash to it but it falls really slow i want to say it's a quarter ounce or a 3 16 ounce head on it um i was just pitching this around they're either taking it on the fall or as I'm dragging it along the bottom just really slowly um, that was working really well for me in the canals chatterbaits were not producing in my main lake spots like I normally were um, but up on Saturday up around Harson's fishing the reed beds the chatterbait was producing a few fish for me but there wasn't a lot up there yet so that's gonna do it for this week's fishing report guys i do want to apologize for not being as active with the reports but the weather has sucked so you didn't really miss much um hopefully i'm at the point now of work where i can get kind of back to more of a regular schedule of getting you guys these updates if you've been on the fence about coming up this weekend and you have the means get up here it should be fantastic weather should be great fishing and i am looking forward to getting out myself I have some more cleaning up to do here in the boat, organize a few things, get some more things out of the basement that I still need to put in this boat. So tight lines, happy casting, and we'll see you in the next video. Oh yeah, I forgot. Be sure you click down below, hit the subscribe button, thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe so you get notified when I post another video. Sorry about that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. It helps me. It helps the channel. It helps everyone that likes to catch fish.